Alright, here's the next part after the uh, little lick right here. And just like before, we finished that lick and then we went to the right to the chord. Same thing right here. Thinking that it's low E with my thumb, barring with my, fir my first finger on the fourth fret, which takes a little bit to get used to. B string on the se uh, fifth fret, G string on the sixth. It's definitely a good idea to get used to these little hammer ons. You can already hear, I mean, it has a head typical kind of hectic sound. And this is movable. Just gotta be careful of keeping the shape uh, based off of your thumb. This is, we came off of this. And we're gonna go right back to the C sharp minor leg. Only thing different is we're gonna at the end of this E, little dyad on the twelfth fret, bottom two strings. Right back down to your chord, back right back to it again. one, when you grab this A, instead of going back to your C sharp lick, you're going to go A sharp and then B. And then it's going to go up to a D, down to a G, A sharp, A, and eventually back into the C sharp lick. Once you get used to this idea of this little chord moving to those uh, few notes, A sharp B D down to a low G, A sharp A. Once we get those down, we'll come back and we'll, we'll hit this with a little bit different uh, with some licks in here. So basically, we'll go. B, uh, high D, low G, A sharp A, just all with those little hammer ons. Again, that's completely movable, just kind of, you know, making stuff up. song. I mean, you obviously have the main riff. But it's all just C-sharp minor. And just like the uh, stuff we did out of G minor with the blues, same idea. Here's a little rake. Now here's where it's pretty cool. We already said we can play E major. We're, what we're going to do is take just the pentatonic shape of that, which is your second position, and we are going to make it a major pentatonic sound like this. So it's a little slide right here, out of C sharp into the E major. So it's slide, 12, uh, 14th fret D, then a dyad. Hammer on, 12, 13 on the G. You 
really go from C sharp minor. And what's really nice is even when you jump up with this major, you can do that same little hammer on again. So I'm in E major. E minor 11th. So I'm going to tab all that out. Um, again, it's the same rake, try that one more time. When you, when you jump up to the E, just imagine E pentatonic, but remember you're going to add the major note, which is going to be with that one right there. And again, we're still trying to play a pentatonic, you're not just a full major scale like this. We're essentially taking that and adding our passing tones to make it pentatonic again. It really gives you some movement within two boxes that are two different keys. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. And then you can still go back to the normal major. I'm going to try to do this mess. It's a hard song. Mm -hmm. 